Hey, what's up guys? Dr. G, today I'm covering meniscal impingement, okay? I tweaked my knee, it's hurting, I'm recovering from it. I'm gonna show you the best way to get that pinch out of that knee in there, okay? Coming up. All right, so uh, there's different parts of the knee where you can actually experience pain. Um, there's what we call retropatellar pain, which is pain right behind the kneecap. Uh, today, we're gonna be covering specifically pain on the inner part of the knee, okay, right here. That's kind of where your meniscus sits. Now, one of the things that can occur uh, as you walk or you run or you're trying to participate in some type of fitness activity, is you can actually tweak the knee and actually pinch that meniscus, okay? So uh, nowadays, people try to stay away, uh, surgeons specifically, they'll try to stay away from in there and uh, removing the meniscus because they've learned that removing the meniscus actually leads to more osteoarthritis. So as long as there's not any leg locking, your knee's not locking while you're walking, uh, the best way to take care of a meniscal sprain or uh, pain in the joint line is by actually doing conservative treatment, okay? So there's one real easy way to unlock that meniscus. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. All right, so uh, this is what we're talking about, okay? So if you have pain behind the kneecap here, does it, that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about pain right through here. Alex, you're probably gonna have to throw some sort of line in there. Right, right through there, right? Pain there, pain there, pain there, okay? That'll usually feel like an ice pick type pain. It'll feel like you're getting a stab every time you take a step, okay? So what's happening here is the meniscus is being sandwiched between the tibia and the femur, okay? Now, the best way to free that up, okay, what you want to do is you want to take your fingers and you want to put them right where it hurts, okay? Now once you're there, you turn that foot inward, okay? Making sure that the only thing moving is underneath your fingers. And once you turn your foot, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig my heel into the floor. What that's going to activate, it's going to activate this hamstring muscle right there. Okay, once that hamstring muscle is activated, you wanna hold that for about 10 seconds. Okay, 10 second hold and relax, All right? If you feel a shift, a click, a pop, anything happen in here, don't be alarmed, it's a good thing. You're just moving things. You can't hurt anything this way, okay? Now, what you do is you repeat, okay? So again, Best thing to do is find that painful spot. That'll tell you you're right on the joint line, okay? Lift the foot up, turn it in. Make sure you're only moving through the lower leg and then pull the heel down into the floor, okay? This is what it looks like from the side. Over here, all right? Lift the foot up, turn the foot in, and then here, pressure's coming in. So if my foot wasn't hitting the floor, it would be doing this. I would be bending my leg inward. So here, and pull. Hold, hold, hold hard. Nice hard contraction, okay? It will elicit a little bit of discomfort, but you're moving that area in there, okay? Now you wanna do this at different angles. So you wanna do it there, want to do it there, want to do it out there, okay? Different angles will get you different parts of that joint line, okay? Do that about 10 times, 10 second hold. May feel a little shifting in there. Once you're done with that, when you get up, you should have decreased pinching, stabbing right on the inside of the leg, okay? Super easy way to take care of that. That way you're not hobbling around everywhere, okay? So that's today's video. I'm Dr. G, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. 
and any other videos you want to see from previously, they're right up here on the top right hand corner. See you next time.